breaking news overnight, Hamas and Iranian officials confirming the death of Hamas's top political leader. What's being called an assassination is still under investigation. This as officials around the world fear escalations like this could result in the war growing into an even larger conflict. Fox News' Chris DeMio reports on the latest. Hamas says its top political leader, Ismail Haniyeh, has been assassinated in Iran early Wednesday, sending shockwaves across the Middle East, as tensions worsen amidst the ongoing Israel-Hamas war. Haniyeh's residence in Tehran was hit. One of his bodyguards was martyred, too. The killing happening after Haniyeh attended the inauguration of Iran's new president, Hamas blaming the death of its 62-year-old leader on an Israeli airstrike, while Israel is not known for commenting on assassinations, Officials have promised to eliminate Hamas leaders over the terror group's deadly incursion into Israel back on October 7th. I think everyone is really just waiting uh, with bated breath to see how the Iranians and their axis of resistance with Hezbollah and with Hamas react. This comes as Israel and Hamas have been engaged in critical negotiations to help free the remaining hostages in Gaza. The assassination also happening several hours after an Israeli strike in Lebanon. That attack resulting in the death of a top Hezbollah commander who Israel says was responsible for a deadly weekend rocket strike that killed 12 children and teens in the Golan Heights region. We heard the sound of the explosion. There were two hits, one after the other. U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin says he doesn't think a wider war is inevitable, but adds... If Israel is attacked, we certainly... Uh, will help defend Israel. Meanwhile, a U.S. military official tells Fox News the U.S. military had, quote, no involvement in the assassination of Hamas's leader. Chris DeMeo, Fox News.